What's up? It's B-Boy Clay for the break advice in Japan, Nagoya, Red Bull BC1 World Finals. Okay, let's get serious. Today I'm gonna teach you some tips for back rocks. So basically, I'm gonna give you some tips for back rocks that are gonna make it uh, look better and also it's gonna be easier for you to learn and like create some more with it, all right? So okay, let's start. First tip, very simple. Put your hip up, okay? Never put your hips on the floor, okay? Very simple. First exercise, you start just jumping from one leg to another, okay? Then you do this basic back rock, okay? You land on the on your uh, arm, you go back. That's the basics, okay? Then you switch your leg, boom, okay? Then you go all the way from this leg here, and you try both ways. So this is a basic back rock. Now what you're gonna do? is you're gonna practice just the jump like this. Change your legs. Always keep your hips up. Just jump, okay? Make, make yourself feel comfortable with this, okay? Try to twist your body like this. Now when you have this, your, your like abs get stronger after some time. You should practice like a couple months, okay? So now what you do is you start to go higher, okay? Okay, so now you can try something different, like you can get creative, like you can do some threads with it, okay? So very easy, just jump, grab your leg, threads, okay? You can put your hand between the legs, okay? Put your hand on your head, okay? Just get creative with it. Try different stuff. Put your hand somewhere. A very important part of the back rock is the shoulder freeze. So, when you do this, you have to learn this freeze first, okay? Like this, try different uh, variations of this, okay? So you can feel comfortable with it, okay? Then you can also like turn it to some other freezes and get creative with it. Back rocks are very basic movements. Um, they're like foundation also for like power moves. And also uh, they, they let you control more of your freestyle because you can try like very difficult dangerous moves and you can always fall down on the back rock and this will never look like a crash because you're gonna do something out of it you know so back rocks will gonna help you not crash uh, but it's very important to keep your hips up like I said in the beginning because this will look more cleaner okay because if your hips touch the floor this already looks like sloppy, okay? I'm gonna show you another transition, which is gonna be transition from footwork to a back rock. It's, it's very simple. You just start with your uh, basic footwork position, and you just like lean on your back, put your elbow first, then your shoulder, and then you're on your back, okay? And from here, you can start every back rock. I do it like this. I put my arm behind me, and then, then I do some back rock, okay? Whatever. This is the transition. You just lean back, go down, do some back rocks, and then you go back. You go back like this. From here, just like kick out your legs, put your shoulder, and you go to the basic footwork position. 
So this was back rocks. Um, simple tips, but very important for your uh, foundation because on this you can build like a lot of movement, a lot of style of your own, okay? So you're gonna, you can get creative, you can freestyle with it. It's gonna make you feel more comfortable with like trying some hard movement because when you're gonna fall, you're never gonna crash. Like it's gonna look way, way cleaner, okay? So it was people Clay for the break advice in Japan, WBC1 World Finals. Now recognize. Now recognize. Now recognize. Break advice.